Edward, there you are. Come. I need to buy you a drink. No, no, I'll buy my own drink. Oh, I insist, I insist, I, since I spilled that one on you earlier. I was the clumsy one no, I spilled. I will not take no for an answer. What's your poison? What, what are you drinking? Oh, all right. A martini with some olives, please. You know, Garrett is really trying to uh, jumpstart his campaign. Your endorsement would certainly help. Well, I think we could set something up, uh, make an appointment for next week. Oh, we can have dinner. That would be even better. Oh. You know, I can definitely call you. We can have dinner. Excuse me. I hate sharing you with all these people. Well, then you'll like this. Room 705. Oh, I think 705 has become my lucky number. Try to be patient, darling. <laughs> There's still some people I have to talk to. Edward, you forgot your drink. Oh. Edward, if you're going to insist, excuse me. Sorry, I'm driving yourself to the carnival, but you're not going to need this. That was a perfectly good martini, Monica. Untouched by human lips. Why in the world would you dump it out? I may very well have saved your life, oh, Edward, by dumping please, it out. Please. Oh, Edward, hi. Um, listen, I have to, uh, I have to leave the airport. I don't want to miss my flight. Well, have a good trip here. No, I want you to ride along with me. I will drop you off at the carnival. I have my own car. Then you have been drinking. I am sober as a judge. Oh, I know are impossible. All right, all right, just be safe. I will call you from Toronto. Oh, Edward, yeah. no, wait, but uh, I was hoping that you and I could have a few moments alone. Could, could you join me at the bar? I need, I need someone wise to give me advice, which is, it's very humbling for me because I've always been strong and I don't like to be the victim. You're in a very difficult situation right now, my dear. And my advice to you is to keep a very low profile until this whole thing blows over. Mm -hmm. Sure. Not easy to do when Alexis, and my husband's ex-lover, is prone to public outbursts and Max Scorpio just protects her. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me again. Sorry. Hello? Should I open the champagne? Mm, keep it on ice. <laughs> You know how I hate to keep you waiting. I have a surprise for you. I'll be right up. I promise. Bye-bye. I cannot tell you how much it means to me to have your sympathetic ear. It's been hell for me. I, I, I know you're very busy. And I don't want to keep you, so... Cheers. No one in this town knows better than you, Edward, what goes on in the corridors of power. <laughs> oh, you're not enjoying your drink. I appreciate your problem, my dear, but I really do have an appointment. Oh, I understand. But apparently I've become quite a pariah in this town. And Garrett's not here right now, so I'm feeling a little vulnerable. Well, not uh, don't take it personally. Well, you're not sharing a drink and with me. How am I supposed to take it? My dear, I wish nothing but the best for you. To your health, Edward. And to yours.